バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G カズオペニアです英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので読む書く聞く話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います DIG 東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきます DIG 東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょうではこのレッスンの方法について説明しますまずは DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてくださいそうしたら DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください次に英語のテキストだけを読んでください英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょうもちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてくださいこれで予習が終了ですここからこの動画によるレッスンを行いますこの YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください以上のステップを繰り返すことで英語の表現力、読解力、ヒアリング力、スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです2回目以降のレッスンの際にはこの画面の下にある「もっと見る」を開いてテキストの朗読のところをクリックしてくださいすぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます今回は「スポーツ・カルチャー5」on tennis 2 chapter 1 rackets 101 part 1 Big Brother が前半と後半に分けてラケットについての基礎知識を紹介しました楽しみながらレッスンしましょうテニスを始めたいと思っている方はそちらもぜひチェックしてみてください1 Prologue For those brave souls who have just decided to take up tennis I imagine it must be shocking to walk into a store selling tennis equipment and be confronted by the vast array of available rackets A multitude of makers, each selling a multitude of rackets. The sight must simultaneously be surprising as well as cause for hesitation. In addition, you will see rackets from a single maker with identical designs, paint jobs, and in actuality vary in terms of weight and grip size. Choosing a racket can be a difficult process, and not just for beginners. Today, I'd like to provide a primer to make the process a little less intimidating. 2. Head size. Head size refers to the size of the racket face, the frame, and the strings, and is measured in square inches. As a rule, the larger the head size, the further your shots will fly. And the smaller the head size, the more control you will have. For beginners and experienced female players, I recommend larger head sizes between 100 and 115 square inches. And for men with powerful strokes who want precise touch, I recommend smaller head sizes between 90 to 100 square inches. 3. Sweet spot. The sweet spot of a racket is the center of the string bed, or more recently, slightly above center, where the strings are able to be most effective. It's also the part of the racket that gives you the best feel. As a rule, the bigger the head size, the wider the sweet spot. However, there is a drawback. A racket with a wider sweet spot doesn't give you quite the touch that a smaller one does. These characteristics can also be seen in the major racket manufacturers. Babolat and Yonex rackets have a wider sweet spot, but they offer a slightly duller feel. But on the other hand, Wilson and Head rackets have smaller sweet spots, but offer a superb feel. In terms of feel, the racket model, string type, and string tension also make a big difference when it comes to performance. 4. Racket length. The majority of rackets are 27 inches long, 
approximately 68.6 centimeters. Rackets with thicker frames can sometimes be longer than 27 inches. The Babolat Pure Drive, a popular club level racket, is available in a model that is 0.5 inches longer than the standard. Tennis pro David Ferrer, who used Prince rackets for a long time, drew attention when he switched over to the slightly longer Babolat Pure Drive Plus at the tail end of his career. Longer rackets allow players who lack power to hit fast serves. Nishkori K also currently uses a model that is extended 0.25 inches. 5. Weight Japanese tennis catalogs and online distributors usually list the weight of unstrung rackets in grams. Meanwhile, in the U.S., you will sometimes see the strung weight listed in ounces. The majority of rackets fall between 250 and 330 grams, regardless of maker. Rackets for female players usually weigh in at around 280 grams, while for men there are many models over 310 grams. There are those who recommend lighter models for beginners and female players, but for those who are serious about picking up tennis, I recommend getting a heavier racket in the 300 to 315 gram range to learn how to put your entire body into a swing. 6. Racket Balance Racket balance, or weight distribution, has a big influence on playing style. Head light rackets, which are heavier on the grip end, offer a high degree of control while head-heavy rackets make it easier to swing through the ball with power. As a junior player, Nishikori K used a head-heavy racket in order to teach himself the kind of strokes that would allow him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with power-hitting foreign players. To find a racket's balance point, place the throat of the racket on your finger and find a position where the racket is balanced. A balanced racket's balance point will be around 320 millimeters from the end of the grip. Any further away than that, and the racket is considered head heavy. Side note, a famous top light racket is the racket used by Roger Federer. 7. Grip Size There are many schools of thought when it comes to grip size. In general, thinner grips involve more wrist action, while thicker grips make it harder to use your wrist. It is usually recommended that players with bigger hands use thicker grips, while female players and children use thinner ones. In terms of which is easier to swing, there are those who say that bigger grip sizes are easier, while there are those who say smaller grip sizes are easier. As for Japanese players, my impression is that many women use a size 1, while many men use a size 2. Meanwhile, in America, there are many players who use a size 4 or 5 and word is that Roger Federer uses a size 2. Personally, I believe that male players should start with a size 3 or 4 to prevent themselves from using too much wrist, and gradually use smaller sizes as they improve. Conversely, I recommend that female players start with a size 2, and once they have their swing form down, move up to a 3 or 4. 8. Beam Shape when it comes to racket frames, there are two basic types of beams. Box beam, where the cross-section is rectangular, and an oval beam, where the cross-section is rounded. Recently, it seems that players tend to go for something in between. A racket with a typical box beam frame is the Wilson Pro Staff used by Roger Federer, while the Babolat Pure Arrow used by Nadal is more rounded, and the Head Speed Pro used by Novak Djokovic is somewhere in the middle. Box beams generally give you more control and better touch, while oval beams give you more power and spin. And box beam rackets have very small sweet spots, but I contend that the feeling of hitting a ball in that sweet spot is one of the greatest pleasures of the sport. 9. Beam Thickness A racket's performance also depends on the thickness of the beam. Thicker, oversized rackets with a 30mm or so beam are stiff allowing the player to generate more power. The sweet spot is relatively big, making them easy to recommend to seasoned seniors over 50 who play doubles. A typical example is Roger Federer's Wilson Pro Staff RF97 Autograph, which has a 21.5 mm beam. In general, medium beams around 25 mm are popular. Novak Djokovic's head graphene 360 speed pro has a 23 mm beam, while Rafael Nadal's Babolat Pure Aero has a beam measuring 23 mm, 26 mm, 23 mm, meaning its thickest around the center. 
10. String Pattern A racket's characteristics are also determined by the string pattern, the layout of the string bed. The vertical strings, called mains, determine how the ball flies and how much spin you can impart. Meanwhile, the horizontal strings, called crosses, affect feel. Footnote, I will talk more about strings in the next column of this series. The most common string pattern is 16 by 19, 16 mains and 19 crosses. Some rackets have 18 by 20, which gives you more control and slightly less. Some rackets have 18 by 20, which gives you more control and slightly less power. Tennis pro Grigor Dimitrov uses a Wilson Pro Staff 97S, which has an 18 by 17 string pattern that imparts a lot of spin, hence the S. 11. Golden Specs In the Japanese tennis racket industry, there is this idea of the golden specs for a racket, basically the ideal specs for the average player. What this usually refers to is the specs of the Babola Pure Drive, which is very popular among a wide range of tennis players. Head size, 100 square inches. Weight, 300 grams. Length, 27 inches. Balance, 320 millimeters. String pattern, 16 by 19. Note, rackets can vary wildly in terms of these parameters, especially in regards to rackets sold overseas. For those who are particular about their specs, I recommend buying not through online shopping, but by going to an actual store. In the US, tennis players come in all shapes and sizes. The idea of there being golden specs is a one-size-fits-all mentality that is distinctly Japanese. 12. Epilogue Sports and Culture 6 will be part 2 of my introduction to tennis rackets. I'll be covering the different types of strings and the various specs to be aware of when deciding on what string or strings is right for you. Isho, Sports and Culture 5 On Tennis 2 Chapter 1 Rackets 101 Part 1 No ego text or rodok shmashita. Ikaga deshita ka?後半ではストリングズの違いについてビッグブラザーが紹介しましたのでこのコンテンツが気に入ったら YouTubeのこの動画の右下にあるボタンからチャンネル登録をぜひ行ってくださいテキストの最後にあるFacebookTwitterInst